Hi, I'm Brett. Today I've got an update on the current direct injection Subaru engines, namely the FA20, and we're talking about the turbocharged version, and beside me is the block assembly, and we'll show you that in a sec. But what we're going to talk about in this video is the difference in the design for aftermarket pistons and original factory pistons, and some of the faults that we're starting to see appear as these engines start becoming a little bit more aged in time. People do different modifications which are right or wrong. So, and then we'll show you the differences between some of the uh, EJ series pistons and the current model um, FA series pistons, and then we'll talk about the blocks as well. So make sure you stay tuned at the end of the video because we'll then link it to some other inf interesting information and another video as well. But beside me here on my left is the um, original factory Conrod and piston on the engine we're doing a rebuild. And the first thing I want to talk about is you'll notice how it's got an, an offset shape Conrod when you compare it to the original uh, EJ series um, Conrod because one of the things is the newer model engines have got different ability to access the um, bottom of the piston to undo these two bolts to pull the bearing cap out whereas the old EJ series engines had a straight axial load down through the center of the crankshaft journal on the design of the Conrod whereas the the FA series you'll notice is completely different and what this does is it actually loads the um, journal differently with the two bolts that hold the bottom cap on. So that's one thing to be aware of. Now, one of the other inherent weaknesses that you'll notice, even when you look at the original standard one compared to the original standard ones, the Conrod is a lot thinner um, to reduce the reciprocating weight. It's all about uh, reducing engine rotating mass and improved fuel economy. And as even opposed to the original EJ series were known at certain boost levels to bend, well, the newer model uh, FA series Conrod has now got a greater propensity to bend under certain boost levels. And remembering this engine runs a higher compression ratio even in a turbocharged version, and the uh, boost levels on this engine is actually higher than the engine that these Conrods are associated with. So if you're doing modifications to this design engine, that's one of the important things to consider. And you can see to the right of it is the aftermarket design of the Conrod and the new piston that we're fitting into this engine. So we'll just talk about that in a sec. So what we wanted to show you is what's actually failed on this particular engine. You can see um, the side of the piston has collapsed um, and this has caused an engine misfire and we pulled the engine apart and obviously this part was broken. And we've also noticed that during the dismantling of the engine, the, um, co the compression rings inside the um, pistons had lost their tension and that also affected the, um, the, effect the effective compression ability or the static compression ability of the engine from a performance point of view. So effectively, the engine was very, very sick in addition to the mechanical failure of the piston. So we've, the clients opted, the good thing is, is, is it uh, didn't mechanically damage the block and we're able to replace it with aftermarket pistons and rods for a better outcome, which ultimately will be stronger and more durable. So let's talk about the difference then between the aftermarket options. And you can see on the tops of the pistons now, Actually, I'll hold them the right way. So you'll see, um, and it's a bit easier with the brand new piston. This area here is where the direct injector squirts down into the, the uh, top of the crown of the piston where most of the combustion process begins. And these parts here are the reliefs in the piston for the clearance of the valves when the engine is operating. Because remembering these pistons run very, very high compression ratio, even compared to factory standard, this engine does run a higher comp ratio than the previous EJ series engine. So let's have a look at the block and understand what it looks like when it's all assembled. So um, we haven't put the final piston in the block yet, so you can see what it looks like without a piston. And you can see right down the very bottom there is the uh, crankshaft journal where the bottom of the conrod will connect. And what you can see on the side is the balance counterweights on the crankshaft um, just at the bottom of the bore. And of course, you can see the bore. And of course, on this side, the piston is obviously installed. But the really interesting thing to note is the thickness of the bore, um, as in the material on the new FA series block compared to the EJ series block. And I'm going to do another video in a minute so you can actually see the difference between the two. But this is all what's going back together to put this engine back together. And we'll then do another video update soon. So I'm not going to talk any more about that at the moment. But what I did want to show you is what the difference. Oh, just one last thing. I'll show you the difference between the original factory EJ series piston crown and the new one. Um, this is pretty much the same as the original factory one. So if we're comparing apples for apples, original factory, original factory, 
and you can see the difference in the design. And remember, this is a two litre piston, this is a 2.5 litre piston, you can see the difference just in the bore diameter alone. But the design of the crown is interesting in the way Subaru's changed the combustion process because this is a direct injection engine and this is not a, a non-direct injection engine. So there you have it. Make sure you check out our next video because we're going to talk about the differences and do a comparison between the block of an EJ series and an FA series block. Of course, you can follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and uh, uh, Instagram. And of course, if you want your engine built here by us at MRT, we do a lot of work all around Australia and be glad to help you. But for now, my name is Brett Middleton. Thanks for watching.